everyone. My name is Alex. I'm one of the expert IELTS teachers here at e2language.com and welcome to your E2 task of the week. And today we are working on IELTS reading match headings. In today's class, I'll explain how the match headings task works. I'll give you an unbelievably simple method, guide you through some practice, and as always, there'll be some time for solo practice as well. So match headings, what does it look like? Well, in today's lesson, I'm going to show you how this looks on computer delivered IELTS. But if you're taking the paper based IELTS, no worries, just pop over to our blog, blog.e2language.com, and you can see what it looks like in the paper delivered version. So in the computer delivered IELTS, match headings task looks something like this. You've got your text over here on the left, with gaps above each paragraph, one, two, three, four. Then of course the instructions, they'll say the text has five, six, seven, whatever sections. Choose the correct heading for each section and move it into the gap. And then you have your list of headings. So on the computer test, you basically just pick up one of the headings and drag it into the box. Simple. Even simpler than that is the method that we're going to follow. This is it, two steps. One, read the paragraph. And two, choose the heading. So this question type is a little bit different to other question types. Usually we'll start with the question and go to the text. But in this match headings task, we go from the text to the questions. It's a much more efficient way to do it. Let me show you. So step one is to read the paragraph. Of course, this is just a sample here, just jargon. So we're not really going to read. But you would start by reading the paragraph and then you would go to the heading, the first heading, social impacts of stress, then the second heading, the third heading, the fourth heading, the fifth heading, and so on. So you're going in a very orderly way. You read the paragraph, read, 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 and then you jump to the first heading and go all the way through. There's a real temptation here to go back and forth, up and down through the reading with this kind of thing. Back to the paragraph, down to the bottom heading, back up. This kind of reading is a complete disaster. This is a real waste of time. So trust me when I tell you that you need to approach this in a very orderly, calm way. Let's go. So we're going to look at a real text now. I'm going to show you five paragraphs and 10 headings, and I'll help you with the first one. Here is paragraph one. I'll read it. Despite its bad reputation, stress historically had a vital role to play. Commonly referred to as the fight or flight mode, the sudden release of stress hormones like adrenaline and cortisol causes the heart to beat faster airways to dilate, and blood vessels to open up, all of which push the body towards optimal performance and, ultimately, survival. In the rest of the animal kingdom, this is still often the difference between life and death. As he springs off to freedom, the lucky gazelle who escapes the lion can thank this primal evolutionary response. I know what you're thinking, Alex is too slow. I don't have that much time in the test, but actually you do have that much time. The trick is that you read the paragraph once only. Resist the temptation to go back and start reading it again. So I've read it once. I've got in my mind what it's basically about, about stress, about survival, about animals. So now I need to match the heading to the paragraph. Here are the list of headings. And by the way, if you're doing computer based, you won't have the numbers next to it. I've just added them here to help you as you play along at home. So while I've got the paragraph in my mind, I'm going to go through top to bottom of the headings. Okay, effect of city life on mental health. Now I have to ask myself, did I read that in the paragraph? Was that the main point? And I answer yes, no, or if I can't remember, maybe. So city life and mental health, no, it didn't mention that. Was the paragraph about stress reduction in animals? Well, I saw a mention of animals, but was it about stress reduction in animals? No, it wasn't. 
Two types of stress. No, I didn't read about two types of stress. The fallout or the impact of cell death. No, I didn't read that. The best type of exercise. Nope. How stress can be useful. Ah, now I did read here about how stress can be helpful for survival, how it can help reach optimal performance. It can save the lives of animals. So this is probably the heading, but I'm going to keep on reading here. Managing stress in job interviews. Nope. One reason behind bad tempers. No. Neuron loss in childhood. No. Regrowing the brain with exercise. No. So I'm fairly settled here that this is the correct heading and I can double check really quickly. Stress had a vital role to play, push the body towards optimal performance, ultimately survival. This is the correct heading. Now, the reason that I kept reading, even after I found the correct answer, was one, just to double check that there wasn't a better heading. And two, because I'm going to read now paragraph two, three, four, I want to have all the headings in my mind. So the first paragraph, sometimes it takes a bit longer because I'm reading slowly and carefully through the whole list of headings. But as I get to paragraph four and five, I'll be much quicker and I've almost memorized those headings. So don't skip that step. Make sure you read through all the headings. Okay, it's over to you now. I'm going to give you paragraph two and three and I'll give you three minutes to do this. Remember the method. Read the paragraph first and read it once only and then read through all the headings and choose one. Good luck.
How did you go there? Did you follow the method? And do you think you got the right answers? Let's have a look together at just paragraph two and three. I'm gonna read through this one. In ordinary modern life, although we're in little danger of being stalked by wild beasts down city streets, our bodies react to stress in the same ways. Experiencing anxiety, fear, and stress is considered to be a normal part of life when it's occasional and temporary, such as feeling anxious and stressed before an exam or job interview. It's when these acute reactions are prolonged or cannot be switched off, however, that serious physical, social, and cognitive issues can result. In contrast to the normal everyday stress of modern life, chronic stress is a pathological state which can significantly interfere with daily living activities, such as work, school, and relationships, wreaking havoc on the body's immune, metabolic, and cardiovascular systems. If I were doing this on paper, I would be drawing all over this text. And if I were doing it on the computer, I would be highlighting and making notes on the screen. I'm gonna give you a little clue here. This is probably the most important part of the paragraph. Let's go through the headings together. Again, ask yourself, was this the main point? Yes, no, or maybe. Okay, effect of city life on mental health. Now I read the word city streets, but was the whole paragraph about the impact of city life? No. Stress reduction in animals? No. Two types of stress. Now I did read here about normal stress versus chronic stress. So this is possibly the right answer, but I'm going to keep reading just in case. The fallout of cell death. No, I didn't read anything about cell death. Best type of exercise. No mention of that. Managing stress in job interviews. I did see job interviews mentioned. I'm going to keep that one highlighted. One reason behind bad tempers. Nope. Neuron loss in childhood. Nothing there. And regrowing the brain with exercise. Nope. So I'm left with two types of stress or managing stress in job interviews. Now, one of these is the best heading and one of them is just a detail from the paragraph. So this word job interviews, it was in the paragraph, but the whole paragraph was not about how to manage stress in job interviews. So the answer is two types of stress. Let's go on to paragraph three. And if you went through the headings, hopefully you zoned in on maybe answer four, the fallout of cell death, and perhaps answer nine, neuron loss in childhood. Again, one of these headings is the best one because it describes the whole paragraph. Neuron loss in childhood is not right because the paragraph didn't mention childhood or didn't focus on childhood, but it did mention the impact and the effect of cell death. So that's the correct answer. Over to you again. There's two more paragraphs and it's up to you to choose the right headings. Again, I'll give you three minutes for this. Be sure to follow the method. Good luck.
Okay, time to check our answers. So let's start with paragraph four here. And hopefully you found that this was the correct heading, one reason behind bad tempers. This paragraph was all about how a certain part of the brain can grow with chronic stress. And this part of the brain is connected with aggression. And in the final sentence, it mentions how a person who's chronically stressed might scream back at a screaming child. This leaves us now with paragraph five. And there were perhaps two headings that caught your eye here, maybe five, the best type of exercise, and 10, regrowing the brain with exercise. So this paragraph did mention the benefits of exercise and how it can help to replenish cells that are lost due to stress. So you've got to ask yourself, what's the best heading here? Is the whole paragraph about the best type of exercise? Does it specify which kind of exercise is best for you? Or is it about regrowing parts of the brain with exercise? And I'm sure you chose the right one, which was number 10. So if you were doing paper-based tests, your answer sheet would look like this. And as I mentioned, pop over onto the blog if you want to try the paper-based format. It does look a little bit different, but the methodology is exactly the same. If you want some more practice, come along to our website, e2language.com, and there you'll find our huge IELTS course. Uh, you'll be able to submit work for speaking and writing feedback. You can book one-on-one -on -one tutorials and join our daily live group classes. Thanks for coming along today and I look forward to seeing you next week in our E2 Tasks of the Week. Happy studying!